I realized the smart guy, since it, it ain't quite raining yet, but it's supposed to, probably shouldn't leave that side panel open with the battery charger sitting on a toolbox. So they are now, well the toolbox is, sitting on the back of the bike behind the 175. And I may as well see if it'll start. Fired right up. Lickety split. Just like it should have. Um, I had concerning thoughts yesterday. This tractor's been sitting in this position since like October. Somewhere in there. May have been before that. And we got the curved pipe. And it's kind of pointed. Well, it's actually pointed just about straight for that Tahoe over there. And all our weather comes from that direction. So the, the bad thought that went through my head yesterday that I didn't mention was, I hope that some bitch had filled full of water. It hadn't. Didn't blow anything out. Fired right up. So I'm going to move it just because I can. And because I want it to run long enough to make sure the battery is up good. So, and all these damn little freaking ash flies or whatever they are, they were just solid. You couldn't hardly see through them. Of course, you open the door and what do they do? Half of them come in. Anyway, figured I'd show you what I did finish up for the day. Becky's probably calling me now to tell me that dinner's ready. Somewhere up there there's a coyote. Making too much noise. Been howling about the last five minutes. I wasn't going to come check yet. Just finished dinner and looked in the camera and... That little girl, focus, was... Uh, Laying right there, and that little dimple under the gate, that's where her head was. She got underneath there, and at least she didn't fight, but I come down, I was going to grab her and drag her out, and she lifted her head up and banged it twice, and then flipped it past, and then I made her get up. Now she's eating. And dang, I wish I could see that coyote. Wish I could see it. It was close enough to actually reach. But that's, well, let's see, from where we're standing right now to the tree line up there is not quite half a mile. And I know he's right there at the tree line. I just can't see him or get him. I'm a bad boy. My head for talk was while I was feeding. This heifer here is kind of a funny one. Got a really strange udder. Not that you can see it. Oh, that's why. Hey, cowboy. Looks like you laid outside, or at least out the door last night. And anybody want to guess who's next to him? Sapphire's next to him. So... They're so close in height that's not funny. He just happens to be standing right on the brake. This section is flatter, and then it breaks off, and he is right where he's actually standing, about two, maybe three inches higher than she is. So they're about the same. I think she's actually a little taller. Anyway, it's wet. Little... A little warmer than I expected this morning. Well, it feels warmer so far anyway. But, yeah. Yeah, see if this thing's going to run. It'll either turn or it won't. Let's find out. Ah, go figure. Part of it's the belt probably isn't quite tight enough. And Part of it is, I think it's a 
3400 RPM motor. That's why we got such a tiny pulley on it. It's hard for the tiny pulley to get a grip. And it's heavy material. I'll make it work. Really easy. A couple steps up the ladder. Reach up. Turn the thing forward and backwards a couple times by hand. Gets the auger in a slack spot where it doesn't have all the weight on it. Hit the switch and it goes. So. And it seems like it gets better when the tank gets more empty. There's not as much weight sitting down on the end of it. I don't know. I really don't. But hey, feeding's done. On to figure out what to do. And listen to them dance around. And of course, there's a couple of cows in heat today. And while he's still in the back barn, because we just ain't got any place to shove him yet. Although, we might be to the point where we can shuffle around here. Probably too damn many to go into this pen, but here we get some out with the bull. Look who decided she was going to meet me at the door. Huh. Yeah, one foot out of her deals. She got a surprise, though. Rainy ran up the stairs in front of me. What? 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 Whiny butt. Say good morning. Say good morning. Good morning. I want you, Grandpa. Okay. Say good morning. It's been a day. Since I'm back here, show this off. Nelson at IP Farms. And you little bugger, you don't need to be crawling in there and making a nest. I hate to guess how much stuff's in these, especially when you see all that. They I'll get blown out before we'll get to use it anyway. Anyway, he's rebuilding a little pull type sprayer. He's putting nozzles and hoses on it in his video last night. These old hoses, I'm going to have to look. This was the last set of booms we built. We built quite a few. Oh, I got some friends in there, too. They like it in there. Somewhere on here. I get really short when I get down here. Somewhere on here, I know it's dated. Because I dated it. I do that. Not everything, but I do that on quite a few things. Well, the date on Excuse me. Hmm. I know it's on here. Honest, it is, really. I don't want, hey, who in my shirt? Hmm. Thought it was on one of these. Anyway, um, God, it's got to be at least 20 years old. Probably older than that. And most of the nozzle bodies, the ones that haven't been broke since then, and the holders and the hoses. We had a 42-foot boom was the last one we made. This is 62 feet. Um, we literally took the screw out, slipped the mount off, transferred to the new boom. So those hoses, for the most part, have got to be 30 years old. And the old sprayer parked at the other end down there where the grinder mixer is, pulled in because we couldn't put it any other way it hit. The whole back end was exposed to Mother Nature all year round. And Nelson looks like he's using the same hoses. I'm trying to find a better looking one. You can kind of, you can kind of see at the end. They're clear with the uh, crisscross webbing in it. And no, they are not really pliable anymore. But they don't leak. As long as we don't hit it on something, they'll be fine. Oh, nice. I guess I didn't realize that. The kids were painting stuff. Brooke was probably painting something. I got it too close. I know what it was. She had a wasn't a 55 barrel drum, it was a shorter one, same diameter though, that she was using in her room for stored blankets and stuff that she cleaned up and painted up before the boom went on here and she had it leaning against it. That's what that's from. So anyway, 
that's what I wanted to show you. And that's where I threw that last night. Hopefully batteries will stay up in it. I mean, once we start using it, it'll get started enough. Even if they are a little weak, it should be okay. And a beautiful day. They changed our forecast again. Instead of being pretty much rain for the next week, the chances of rain are so low, it's not funny. I mean, we're talking 2% to 5% or zero. Of course, the zero is when it'll rain. But I, I know I got to get out there and get that C90 on. I really do. But we got other things that have to get done too at the same time. Uh, this morning got screwed up. I had to take mom in to get her taxes and get that taken care of. And I got back and Becky went up on the hill to clean house. So Ty and I just ate lunch and Ty is currently babysitting Blakely. But we're going to get Wally out today one way or another. We got a bunch of cows to shuffle around. If they got calves on the ground, or the two open ones, they'll be in the main lot with Wally. And then we just got to figure where we're going with everybody else. So, I had the trailer hooked up yesterday. I should have left it hooked up, right? Just means I got to hook the trailer up to move him. We could run him through everything, but we got to go get him over to the chute. Get him wormed. Give him a shot of multi-man so he's good to go. And go from there. Once in a while things go together, right? It's sitting in the right place. That gate just moves over. And the tailgate. We got a piece of twine tied on that latch for the big door. Close enough. I mean, anywhere between just to the left of there and over in here is what's fine. And when I backed up to the trailer, I backed up. I was off half a ball sideways, and I was perfect front and back. So set it down on the ball, bumped it over, hooked it up, and literally backed right straight in on the first shot. It happens once in a while, but I ain't going to fight with him until Ty's ready. I'll go back over here and... See if I can start figuring out how to sort critters. I kind of think we ought to put some with Cowboy, but you know, he's got 12 with him and he's 11 months old. Well, maybe he's 12 months old this month. And <clears throat> well, he's just going to have too many with him. But both of them tested out damn near as good as any bull can ever test so it's a matter of if we do put or what we do put over with cowboy it's really a matter of figuring out who and it'll probably be the ones that haven't got yet and this little girl i've been wondering about her the last couple of days when I was in town with mom, look at that. She got a pretty new ear tag. Got a little green on her ear, so she got her tattoo. She got her calf shots, and she got hammered because she really wasn't feeling good. 103.9 temp. So she got antibiotics, fever reducer, and she had the squirts really, really bad. So she got some sustain for that. Those are the ones you just hope you don't screw their gut up too much. But it's either take a chance of screwing their guts up or have a dead calf. So she is going to go over in the other maternity pen. Keep the lifespan a little bit of company there for a while. Um, two of them, the two long tails, are going to stay in here. The rest are going to go out that gate over there. And the rest of the pregnant cows are going to get crammed in here. I mean, keep in mind, there's two opens, so they don't count. They're not in the way. And one of those is in heat today. And I just wish the day was going a little better so we get the bull in quicker. 
just because. Hopefully she's still in heat enough when the time comes. And I don't know which one it was. I just know one of them. Ruby there was in heat a few days ago, so it's probably the other one. Or it could be one of the two cows out here that's already calved. So, now I wait until Becky gets back so she can watch Blakely so Ty can come back out and help. This part has been two and a half hours coming. The two opens and the cows with calves are locked in the feed barn. These are the ones that are still got a calf in them. Other than the two two-year-olds that are locked outside there. But our issue, these are the two-year-olds here. Our issue was one of the bull calves. We could not get him to go out this gate. He went under that gate back in there four times. He wanted to run around over here and not go out. So we're finally to here. I mean, the bull's been standing in the frickin' trailer for damn near three hours now. He's done and ready to go, but I wanted to get everybody moved first. Just like that. This was the easiest part. We're gonna find Cowboy a couple more girlfriends. One of them's her mommy. And the other one... I think there's two yellow keg cabs in here. I think the other one is mama to one of them. I know it's not that one. That's Dancer's kid. So it might be that one. No. Okay, if there's a third yellow tag in there, that's the one. Because there's going to be way too many cows with Wally. And, you know, if we can get two out of the way, we get two out of the way. Yeah, I need both hands. Now that I'm through all the gates, we're going to try to run them into the feed barn. And then get to the two that don't have calves back over here. Ty said, well, we can back up and let the bull out. And, and then we can load those two up. Well, those two have never been in a trailer. And we really don't have a good place to load them over there without bringing a bunch of panels over. So, get these little turkeys to go. And, of course, one of the cows we had in there wants back out. Well, I got to say, that didn't work out too bad. Got all them into the other barn. Got the two out we wanted, brought them right straight over and in. And Cowboy's chasing the one that's not in heat. Ruby's right there. She's in heat. That's your. She's not in heat. Well, of course she could be. Hell, I don't know. Maybe they're both in heat. And he's got help sniffing her. I don't know. I'd like to watch him breed both of them right now, but I got things to do. I got to get another bull in. Uh, I'm just a little slow. Ruby just took a step up there after she just got bred. So I just wrote it down. And now who's he after? Because he was sure checking out Eeyore when they came in. But... Now, he was just up on Ruby more than long enough to give her a good shot. You know, this is where I wish that we could do, like, sheep and goat people, and they have the little marker thing on the... You can do that. That'd be nice, but can... fuck that, I ain't catching that motherfucker. Oh, anyway, he might get two of them bred today, and I'm, I'm fine with that. Really, I am. Because, you know, the, the last day I like to get the bulls out is literally three days from now, tax day. And if we get him out a little early, that's fine. Oh, I don't know, because he was she, she must be coming. She's probably just starting into so, it. She's not she'll, far enough into it to stand. Oh, well, she's standing because he's doing it. Are you fucking serious? Somebody's standing. He ain't even making contact, dude. Well, you he better not. Ass. You better not have thrown it on the ground, dude. He did. Oh. Uh. You can't mount from it, the side. Don't yeah. work like that. These, these young kids, I don't know. Sometimes it just takes them a bit. But I, I hope swear, they figure I it out. I swear, I just marked for his bread and you fucked the dog and put it on the 
Well, she's still standing. He's got another half a day anyway. Well, you can't help her fucking hind leg. It's no different than watching the ones try to do it in her face. Jesus. See a poor cow that, you know, it's kind of like, what's that movie? God, yeah, I can't right think there. of it. No. Anyway, you better get it done.